What's up guys, Over the Gamer here and welcome back to another Fortnite creative tutorial. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the new class selector and class designer items in Fortnite creative. If you want more awesome tutorials and easy to understand tutorials make sure to subscribe with that notification bell on and hit that like button if this helped you as well. So this is actually quite simple to understand but I thought I'd do a tutorial on it anyway because some people might get confused be between the two, thinking that you have to drop weapons into that or whatever. Anyway, you can do this as many times as you want. You can have as many classes as you, you want in your game. And all you have to do is place this item here and then place this to actually get that class. So the way this works is I'll show you in game first and then we'll jump straight into it with uh, how to do it. Uh, there's only a few settings you have to change on it, to be honest and the rest is pretty simple to understand so as you can see the only thing you see in game are these little collector points so if you want to do this make sure to do like a sign above them saying what class it is and obviously they can walk onto it and choose it so the way it works is you walk onto it just like that wait a couple of seconds and there you go you get a class you get your unlimited elf all that kind of good stuff uh this is the demolition class then you've got i believe the sniper class which is this one as you, oh no, this is a silencer class, and as you can see, it changes everything. You can change um, how high you jump, uh, how much health you have, uh, what guns, and absolutely everything. It's awesome. Anyway, moving on to the third class. This is a low gravity one. This is a sniper. Um, and as you can see, I've got it on one health, and you get a sniper and stuff like that. Really awesome. Anyway, let's show you how to actually build this thing um, in-game real quick. So... Just back out of here, place down the items on the floor, and then get ready to uh, do it real quick. Let's jump over here. So, uh, go on to this. The, at the top of the list right there, you want both of them. So, you want to place down that, and then place down that one in front of it. Just like that. Pretty easy. Then, what you want to do is come to this one. This is the one that you're going to place the guns in. You want to name it. So, we'll name this. Actually, we'll pick the guns first. So, um, grab your guns. What you want to place, we'll just use... I don't know, maybe a couple of shotguns, just like that. You can use as many guns as you I think five, actually, is the inventory space. So make sure to use five. Um, so as you can see, I've placed the guns in. We'll say uh, shotgunner. Type that real quick. Just like that. There we go. So that's going to be shotgunner. This is going to be class identi uh, identifier four, because I've already got three classes in this game. So this is going to be the fourth class. Um... Grant on respawn, that doesn't matter, you can change all that if you want. Visible during games, no. Uh, bonus ammo for weapons on, if you really want bonus ammo. You can have all your starting health here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do max health. Uh, we'll do 2000 and then we'll put it on 100% health. Um, max shields, we'll do 500, 100%. Just so you can see how much you can change. Instant reload, I'll show you that as well. Infinite ammo on, infinite resources, why not? Um... Let's see what else we've got. No fall damage. Gravity. We'll put that on um, low. Because why not? Um, jump fatigue. That's fine. Player flight. And all that's fine. You can pretty much see all the settings there. What you can change. What you can add if you really want to. Anyway, let's accept that. So that's the only settings you have to change on that one. Moving on to this. The only thing you have to change on this is class identi identifier 4. So this is going to be connecting to that. These are going to connect to each other. Um team you can set it to any team so if team one's got a specific class and team two doesn't want that class you can set it to obviously team one time to switch so that means is when you're standing on it it takes one second to pick up or three seconds to pick up respawn player on switch uh so that like forces the player to switch classes when they respawn size of volume obviously that's just the circle really it's like a capture zone uh, you can change the colour, you can change whether it gets disabled or enabled, stuff like that. Um, that's pretty much it. That's all you have to change on them, and this is how it works. So let me just go and destroy my spawner up here, place it down here, and then I'll show you that it actually works just like that. And it's really easy, really, really easy to understand. Let me know what you think of it down in the comments section, if you think it's useful, if you're going to use it on your maps, because I definitely am. So now let's start the game real quick and uh, show you how it works, and then that's pretty much it. I will be doing a tutorial on the vending machine to show you guys how to use that and all the latest stuff in the game. Anyway, here we go. So what you want to do 
You just walk onto it, after a second you get all the guns, and there you go. Easy as that, infinite reload, uh, instant reload, all the lot, infinite uh, building materials. It's, uh, oh, we've also got gravity as well. <laughs> anyway, that is it for today's video, guys. I do hope it helped you. Leave a like if you did. Uh, leave a like if it did. Subscribe for more. Click the bell so you get notified when I upload. If you want more, let me know what you want. Let me know what tutorials you're going to want uh, in the future. Or if you're struggling on something, I'll try to help you down in the comment section. Any questions, any setting questions, just ask me and I'll be sure, be sure to answer it. Anyway, guys, I'll see you all in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.